on the nothing question as it, as it touches on ourselves, as it happens, it's rather more marvelous than almost anything in any holy book. If all the elements from which we and our surroundings are made are from exploded stars, from the stars that blow up and die at the rate of one every second and have been doing that since the Big Bang. Isn't it rather magical to think that we're all made out of stardust? Uh, never mind, as Professor Krauss says, never mind the martyrs. Stars had to die so that we could live. This is a very essential reflection to be having, and it dwarfs, it dwarfs the religious explanations. You didn't notice, Dinesh, that the gentleman asked at the end, couldn't it have turned out another way, which I think was the, possibly the crux of his question. I'd recommend another study to you. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> excuse me. Professor Stephen Jay Gould, who I mentioned flatteringly earlier, in spite of my disagreement with him about the non-overlapping magisteria, did a marvelous paleontological book called The Burgess Shale. This is a, a half of a mountain that's fallen away in the Canadian Rockies, revealing the whole interior core of a, of a great mountain. So you, uh, and you can read off as if on a screen, the, it's more like a bush actually than a tree, all the little tendrils of evolution of reptiles, birds, plants, and so on, as they sprout up, branch off. And, so, and many of them stop, nothing happened to them. They were quite promising, but they went nowhere. And it doesn't go up like a tree. It goes all over the place like a bush. Well, says Professor Gould, it's one of the most unsettling, vertiginous thoughts I've ever heard from a paleontologist. Suppose that we could, which in a way we can, rewind this as if, as if onto a tape. Get the Burgess Shale. Get the, the outlines of the book. Rewind, rewind it. Play it again. There's absolutely no certainty it would come out the same way, that all those branches would go off and diverge and die out or flourish in the way that they do as they did. It's completely governed by uncertainty. There are any number of conceivable Brief. outcomes up with, up with which evolution could have come. It's another version of our selfishness, our self-regard, I might say, our solipsism, that we cannot easily unconvince ourselves that all of this happened so that the Pope could condemn masturbation. 